Honorable Chair in Ting, Commissioners, ah, oh my gosh, um, do, do I, uh, Commissioner Ferrolino, Director James, Rapplers, the first time we've seen each other in a while all together, and friends, thank you, thank you for coming. Since Rappler was created a decade ago, we have supported and partnered with the Commission on Elections because we believe that this independent institution holds the key to the integrity of our elections. I personally believe this COMELEC has the responsibility and honor to oversee these particularly critical elections that will determine not just our future, but our past. All of us know how much is at stake in our May 9th elections. But unlike our past elections, this particular COMELEC has two added existential challenges, and I'll kind of Gosh, more power on this one. COVID-19 to be in the room. And social media. Many of you, my friends, know how much we embrace social media when we started Rappler. But today, these platforms are now the largest delivery platforms for news, larger than any individual media organization. Technology has fundamentally changed our world. And you know that the studies have shown this as, as early as 2018, Lies, laced with anger and hate, spread faster and further than facts. Something that I did point out at the Nobel lecture last year. So when Kamalek issued its press release about this signing yesterday, and it was attacked on social media, thank you for holding the line, uh, by partisan players, government officials, and those who work for them, I thought about the challenge this Kamalek faces. How to unite a people divided by hate, fostered by those who have little to show for what they do. It is a distraction from incompetence, maybe, because it is easier to be angry than it is to actually do. But here's something we all know. In the end, spewing lies and hate doesn't change the real world. It doesn't give a better life. No jobs, food, vaccines that feeling of trust in our community that we have to hold on to kasi naman po, yun po yung tunay na bayanihan, di ba? Sabihin ko po ito ulit, para naman po akong sirang plaka dito, no? Without facts, you can't have truth. Without truth, you can't have trust. Without these, we have no shared reality, no rule of law, no democracy. Which is why we are thrilled to be working with Kamalek to help ensure the integrity of our elections in three broad ways. Voter engagement, access to critical information at the right time when you need it, and I know many of the media groups will be carrying this as well. Uh, and then that last one, fact checking. Well, social media is more than just what we used to be. We don't just deliver the news anymore, right? It is a behavior modification system where a lie repeated a million times becomes a fact. James, you know this. It is information warfare turned against the citizens of democracies around the world, directly linked to global geopolitical power play. Tayo po ang, uh, parang pinakauna yata tayo, eh. may isa pang country that already had elections. Pero tayo po ngayon, whatever happens here will help determine the fate of many democracies around the world. Um, we know there are connections to Chinese information operations and to Russian information operations. So this is geopolitical in nature. These lies called information operations are tearing down trust, including trust in institutions. Legitimacy, public trust, isn't guaranteed, which makes the work of this independent body of Kamalek even more important and even more difficult because we can't have integrity of actions if we don't have integrity of facts. So I'll quickly, part of our partnership with Kamalek is to actually take you through uh, fact checking. That sounds really boring, but there are many of you guys who are partners. So let me show you hashtag facts first PH. These elections will really be a battle for facts, right? So, ito po yung ginawa namin with our partners, many of you who are here. It's really 
putting together, using data and tech as well, right, to connect four different layers of society, a whole of society approach with Comelec, to look at fact checking, 14 of us, 14 news groups working together, that's kind of a, a first working, sharing, creating together. And then a mesh, more than 100 groups that are business, human rights organizations, the church, uh, civil society. It's really trying to figure out how democracy will work with social media. The third one is, if this is atomized content creation, this is meaning. So seven disinformation research groups that will every week tell you how we are being manipulated. Hashtag break the trend. Finally, thought the last one is law, accountability. The last part that we rarely see, because our lawyers have been maybe too busy fighting cases, but in this one, the accountability layer. If you don't have integrity of facts, you can't have rule. So accountability cuts across and that the legal layers, the seven groups there, from the Free Legal Assistance Group to Ateneo Human Rights Center to the Philippine Bar Association, to the Integrated Bar of the Philippines, they will do both tactical and strategic litigation. I've been talking too long, but I wanted to, we haven't really had that much of a chance, right? So I guess the appeal from us is this. First of all, thank you to Kamalek again. It is good to see you in person. Um, in a deeply polarized nation like ours is today, it's important that we keep talking to each other. Uh, it's important that we exchange ideas, not hate, that we remain open and inclusive. Kamalek has a tough job ahead. For politicians, win because you deserve our vote, not because you can rile up a mob. So uh, let me end there. You know, the big difference between that peaceful people power revolt 36 years ago and the online mobs today, and I am sure there is not one person in this room who hasn't felt the online mob at different times. I think it is really fitting that we sign our partnership on this anniversary. Thank you for choosing the day because this helped spark a global movement for democracy. Rappler's mission is not just to try to be the best journalist we can be, but a promise to build communities of action to make our lives better. In the end, we are all in this together. Thank you, commissioners, for recognizing that. We look forward to working with you in the next critical 74 days ahead. Thank you.